Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about how to sculpt such um, yeah, shapes here like corn, berries, bubbles, and it's also called uh, Voronoi, um, such a Voronoi, Voronoi pattern here. Okay, let's start. So it looks like this here. I show you the wireframe, and the interesting thing is when I use the move brush, and here at the bottom here you find uh, the shortcuts, and here is the connected, and you. S Sorry, I have to tap on it. So you see here. Um, these bubbles are separate objects. So I turn off the symmetry. So you see here, uh, every bubble is a single, a single bubble. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, how to do it? So let's start with a new scene. Okay, we don't need the sphere. And let's add a primitive. And here, make sure that this checkbox is active. You need a UV map for this. And you can use a tube, um, a cylinder shape, or yeah, every shape, in fact. But uh, let's uh, do it with a, a lace tool here or a lace primitive. And I activate the wireframe. So, okay, but first I have to show something here. Um, here, when you press inspect, here you see the UV map here. And you see here the caps. So when you use um, a tube or um, a lathe object or a cylinder, uh, deactivate the caps. So now you see here um, your UV map is stretched out for the whole object here and it's okay. So no caps. Okay. So maybe such a corn shape here, like this. And check the wireframe here and make sure that the, um, that the um, squares are more square-like. So I'm changing here the divisions a little bit, so so then they look nicer, better than like this here. So more like this. Okay. <coughs> so then we are fine, and I press validate. The next thing is we need a texture. And here, Google image search, um, search for such seamless, um, here is a irregular cell pattern, or maybe here a seamless mosaic pattern like this. It needs to be black and white and not a, not a height map or only such a pattern black and white and yeah or such patterns but uh, you have to change the color to black and white better is this here this is a nice pattern and yeah so such a thing you need download it uh, in your 
photo gallery and okay. So where's my nomad here? So then I turn off the wireframe and here in the material menu you can upload here the opacity texture opacity slot here type here and photos and let's choose such a pattern here like this and we can change the scaling here maybe to two okay so this is fine i think Again, we have to check the wireframe. So the pattern becomes the mask later. So uh, we need a little bit more topology. So I choose multi-resolution and I subdivide the mesh. So we get a, um, a higher resolution here. Okay, let's try it with this and yeah, maybe yeah, hundred forty thousand is okay. I tried. Okay, then here in the MISC menu, here's the reproject option, and here you need opacity to mask checkbox, and reproject from itself. So now the whole thing is masked, and yeah, it could work. So, the next thing is um, change to the mask tool and here it's possible to invert the mask uh, like this here or yeah, how you need it. So in, in this case I need uh, here the, the bubbles to be masked and I press here sharpen um, to make the mask uh, sharp and not blurred and here in the mask menu you can choose here uh, the height thickness and i'm using here the here you see in the x-ray view i'm extracting in positive and negative direction so here the plus minus is active so here like this and the division here here on the side so don't extra oh sorry don't extract it like this here so you need um, division one or two this is fine you need here um, a, yeah no density so you have to stretch here the mesh you see it later so now we can extract the whole thing. And I clear everything. Okay. So here is now the solo view. We got a lot of uh, such small cylinders here. And now we use the um, operations menu so here it's possible to relax so this is the important part here so so when you relax here you see here the mesh stretches back and gets around so like this here so it's more bubble like and then use the inflate option to close the gaps And then there's a smoothing slider. You can smooth now the, the bubbles. So maybe you want a little bit more inflate and a little bit more smoothing. So it looks like this here. Yeah, that's it. Um, okay. 
And it's also possible now, because it's all single objects here, um, here you can use the quadri measure. And at the moment, uh, what's the poly count of our object lays? 280,000. So maybe press here um, on the quadri measure density symmetry, we can turn off and Let's test 5,000, what we get. So here, now we have 38,000 uh, vertices. I think this is okay. Um, and a nice bubble shape, a <laughs> corn shape. So So a little bit color and da, 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 da. so it looks fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the same for all berries, bubble shapes, always use uh, the reproject option and use uh, such a texture. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.